All right, so here we're going to generate a client object using a using a service account as the authentication. So this would allow us to get access to users' data without having to ask them for consent. And uh, this can only be done once you delegate the sufficient authority, domain-wide authority. So what I mean by that is uh, first step always is to just create the service account itself. There's uh, instructions that explain how to do that uh, here. So once this is created, what we're going to do is uh, delegate, create an access key, which is going to be in the form of a JSON file. So that file is going to be used for authentication and uh, is going to allow us to directly generate the client that has access to users data without getting into things like a consent screen, redirect after the consent screen, uh, uh, all of that uh, uh, other stuff. So once this is uh, this is created, what you would need to do next is to delegate the domain wide authority for the scopes that you would like this application to have access to. So that's quite a mouthful, but it's very simple. Basically, you create the API key in the API. I mean, you create the service client, which is uh, sort of like an API key. And um, what we do is we specify that this service client is gonna have access to these specific scopes. So this specific service client is gonna be able to do X, Y, Z, depending on what scopes you specify here. So once the scopes have been specified, the client ID as well. So this is this is going to match what you have inside your, uh, inside your API console. So that means that we have the, uh, the client ID uh, this has been created. You may need to verify permissions in case you want to grant uh, grant access uh, as the service account, for example, or the owner, which would be done here. And once this is done, you're going to generate the actual key ID. So this is going to be that JSON file that we mentioned uh, before. The uh, In case you change something here, you need to regenerate the file and then uh, you can use that inside your code. So here's a very simple code, just as an example. We're pointing to the uh, to the JSON file that was generated. Uh, we're setting the scopes, so the scopes that were also created or that were also specified inside the G Suite interface. So this is the G Suite interface where we specify the scopes. This is your Google Console API uh, API console where you uh, generate the service account and then you specify the scope here inside your actual code. So this is going to generate the client object. In the client object, we're going to specify what are the scopes that this client object is going to have access to. Then we set the subject, who are we impersonating in terms of the user in the domain. So I wanna impersonate this, impersonate this specific user. Set access type to offline, so this allows you to regenerate the tokens and then you generate the actual, I guess, like service object. So the stuff that is going to perform um, actions using the Google Drive API. So this object here is going to take the parameter as the, uh, the parameter that it takes is going to be the authentication object. So this object authenticated, authenticated stuff using the JSON file, um, that fun stuff is done. Now you just pass this authentication object to the actual Google service drive. And then once we fire it up, we can see the actual results, uh, which is the printing of the object. So it's able to, like if I refresh this here, it's going to print whatever uh, we want it to print like this. This is the object that it printed. So hopefully this helps. The documentation currently is very, like it's basically non-existent for the PHP uh, library in terms of the authentication using the service client. So if you did find this video helpful, please leave a like uh, and thank you so much for uh, viewing. Have a good day.